on day 16. And um, if you've known me for a while, you've been in my community for a while, then you know that I like to um, show what real life is like. I'm not trying to be the perfect fitness person with the perfect everything. Uh, that's why we did the video with the kids climbing all over me. We didn't know what was going to happen. It just happens that way. Anyway, so today my real life example is my husband took the yoga mat. So, will that stop me from creating the video and doing the plank? No, it won't. I'm going to use these two little pieces of floor stuff from my kids' toys. I don't know where the H and the 4 are, actually. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes, but basically nothing is going to stop me. So, oh, I didn't mean to close that. And I also, Sammy, who's only one, took my phone and turned the ringer on, and I don't know how to turn it off. So if anyone texts me, well, you already heard it. It beeps. So I've been procrastinating while telling you about all these things. And if you're worried about your plank for today, then do not worry. We're going back to a minute and 30 seconds because this is how the, these things have to work. you got to go forward, push a little forward, and then pull a little back. And then push a little further forward, and then pull a little back. Da -da 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 -da. You know, so it works like that. So that's what we're doing for our plank today, and that goes for the overachievers as well. And um, since we're taking it back, if you have not tried on your forearms yet, and you do have a yoga mat or whatever, then please try your forearms today. So let's get this thing going. Oh, ow. Okay, forearms, legs, and we're on. Huh. Okay, so chest in between the elbows, belly pulling up to your spine. Hey, since we're talking about real life today, um, anybody who's had kids, you can stand up and have washboard abs, but when you get into a position like this, gravity takes over, and it's really crazy. I mean, there's some seriously sagging skin stuff happening. And um, if you're thinking it's a bad thing, it's really not. It's kind of fascinating. And, and uh, I think it's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> if that sounds weird or not, I, I don't really care. It is cool. You had kids, and your skin is showing that you did that. And it really did happen um, to you. And if you don't have kids, then uh, you don't have that thing going on, and good for you. And the only thing that's keeping you from seeing that right now is this nice, tight tank top. And all this talk about saggy belly skin has brought us almost to the end of this plank. So thighs tight. I'm going to do the final 10 countdown. When we get to it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, oh, three, two, one. Hips down, give it a stretch. <sighs> and then stretch back the other way. Stretch, stretch through your back. Ooh, yeah, that was my forehead. So I'm going to buy myself a nice new yoga mat so this doesn't happen again. If you don't have a nice new yoga mat, you are halfway through this thing. Go ahead and get yourself one. That's a great reward. All right, let's stand up and plank. No, we did the plank. And squat. That's what I meant. All right, squatters, here we go. If you're doing regular squats, you're up to 85 today. 85 in a row without stopping. Bam. And if you're doing the jump squats with me, we're doing 40, 30, and 15. Don't think about it. Let's just do it. Um, and uh, there's a hedgehog in my backyard. I used to live in Manhattan for a long time. So it's kind of weird. Is that normal? Anyway, okay, here we go. So as per usual, stay with me with the timing, whether you're jumping or not. Here we go. Three, two, one. Don't think about how many. That'll make you think about how many, right? <laughs> Don't think about pink elephants. Two, one. Three, two, one. 